Good morning, good day, and good afternoon, good evening, everyone. Thank you for joining Comport in our series on Aruba Central. Today, we're going to be showing you a little bit about what Aruba Visual RF can do. Visual RF is a live heat map coverage of your facility that you can visualize very easily and literally in live detail. Um, right from your Aruba Central console without having to worry about anything on site or constantly doing surveys to assess what your environment looks like. So as soon as you log into Aruba Central and you're at your global view, you see this nice uh, location map of where your offices are. If you hover over your icon for that office, you have a couple of quick things to show you about what's going on. You'll have your artificial intelligent insights or AI insights. You'll have devices connected to your network. You'll have information from user experience and site sensors, if you have those. Uh, also, the number of clients that you have. And if you want to very quickly look at what the floor plan is for that site, you can simply click on this hyperlink here for floor plan. Once your maps are uploaded and once your APs are deployed across the map, you'll instantly be able to click on that link and see something similar to this. So this is one of our offices in northern New Jersey where, where we have live demo environment of Aruba Central out. And we have a couple of APs at that location. So we're at, what we're actually seeing is live coverage of what the RF signal looks like as measured by the AP itself. And also let you know very quickly about where, where there may be gaps in coverage, maybe where some of the problems that you may be having with wireless may stem from. It could be poor signal strength. Um, there could be a large signal to noise ratio issue that you have if you're in a heavy machinery shop or potentially somewhere with a lot of interference. So this is a great way to very quickly assess the who, the what, the where of what's going on in the, in the wireless world. So we can see our AP here. We can see the AP name itself if we click on it. We can see the MAC address, the model, what the status is, the serial number. We can even see the actual specific information of what channel and how high the power is set on each radio. Um, also a very good way to assess if maybe there's a configuration error and some part of the radio configuration, it just isn't what you need it to be. If you have clients on the network, those will also show up here. If you need to edit the map, it's very simple to do. If you click the edit button that I just showed you, you'll actually be able to go in and make some small changes, maybe an AP move location. Maybe you want to see a little bit more detail than what you can see from the high level. You can see all that here. So if we zoom in to where the AP is placed, we can click on that. We can see the properties of that AP, the name, all of the information in the radios that we already saw. But we can also see the clients that are associated and approximately where they are based on where they're coming, where their signal is coming in from. We can see a desktop here. We can see another laptop here. So we can see a lot of information and roughly where they're at on the map. If you want to do a new deployment, there is a built-in feature to do predictive surveys where you can go in and put in walls for a building, and you can actually simulate APs and power settings, see what potential coverage could look like for your environment. If you want to draw a wall, all you have to do is edit, click on draw wall, click and drag and drop when you're done. If you want to change the wall type, which will affect the attenuation of the RF between the wall, you can move from concrete to cubicle to drywall or glass. But then you're in the environment, and you'll actually be able to see the attenuation change and the color change. So if we click Save Now, we'll see that that changed from a red line to a blue line. And if we put in additional APs, we can pick the model. And we can actually simulate what coverage would look like if we place that model on the map. Occasionally, you may need to refresh the page just to get an update on what the signal strength looks like. Sometimes it just takes the engine a minute to adjust for that. And as you can see, now that we've placed a planned or a, 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 a simulated device on this map, we can see the additional coverage here. We can see how it affects everything. We can see if we moved it, how the signal strength would change. These are very simple steps, and once they're set up, you don't have to worry about editing this environment too much. It gives you a very good way to see what your environment looks like from an RF perspective. You get a good handle on where clients are and potentially what APs they're connected to. 
If you'd like to learn more about Visual RF and how it integrates with your environment in Ruby Central, please go to www.comport.com and somebody from the organization will reach out to you for further information. Thanks for joining everyone. I hope you have a wonderful day.